Hello, and let's, let's talk about uh, this supplement tra trip. So this is more about sampling and function abuse, okay? But a little bit more advanced options, and I hopefully <laughs> I'm not going to confuse you uh, at, a, at a higher level. So here I'm just going to sh show, show you more options. So you have this case, it's a relative simple case of pipe. So basically this is what we have, and in this pipe, we're going to do a lot of sample, sampling, okay? with more advanced options, but I want to show you that besides the standard sampling that we have done so far, you can also add surfaces. So you can create a surface and do sampling in that surface. Okay, so besides the mesh, see that you have the mesh going from here to here, you can create a random surface and put it there and sampling anything there. But not necessarily needs to be any straight surface like this one, a planar surface, you can have also surfaces, crazy surfaces like this and, and do a sampling there and compute whatever you want in that sur surface, okay? You can obtain those surfaces using any software or even the ISO surfaces that you, you can obtain with function objects that is in the next supplement, we, we talk about that. So see that you run this case this way, we are using this tool topo set. So remember phone info topo set, you get more information, but also in these slides, there is a short explanation of what we're doing. But here we're just selecting a group of cells and in that group of cells, we can do operations, sampling operations, okay? So you have your steps here, Exactly the same here. We're proceeding exactly the same way as we did for the previous videos when we introduced you know, the basic concepts of function objects and sampling. But these are more advanced options. And just to show you, you know, the dictionaries, okay, more lines, some points, okay, we're putting. And this is it when you want to, for instance, here you have some sampling in, in couplings. So see that you are declaring your couplings here. But also see that this is the way in a STL surface, so you can do your sampling, you use this class type, and then read the STL surface, and you can do your sampling in that way. Here you have your always, you have some information what is happening and location of files, it is the same. So the output when you have cloud, you now point sampling, you have cloud of points, okay, something like this, the, pretty much the same as we saw. Then also you have, uh, some simple commands to do plotting using Nuplot, okay? Because you're going to get those text files. So here you, you have, if you want to plot some specific, so you can get used with Nuplot, but also on the internet, you can find some, some information. It's relatively easy to use Nuplot, so and here you have the basic commands. In this case, we're sampling, see that this is the surface sampling. So we're doing now, instead of this 2D standard plot like X, Y, now we have X, Y, Z, okay? and how to do the plotting in this case and show the grid and so on. Here, we comment a little bit about creating face sets and sunsets. So this is doing the uh, using topo set. Topo set reads this file. So with topo set, you can just select a group of cells, can be faces, vertices, or cells, the volume. And see here that you have the options, okay? You have, again, you have many options. You can read the source code, dot C in documentation, or use the fun info commands or follow this, this slides or use the Marana method to know the, the actions of it. So here you have a short explanation of what is happening, but see that basically you are selecting a group of internal faces that in a box selection, so take everything, create sets. Okay, in this case you have a cell set, so this is a volume selection and this is a face selection. So see that you have different types there and you create those sets and then you can apply operations in those sets okay so these are the steps top of set and in this case we have a posteriori function objects and see that function object three and four these files are, are the specific ones that are going to add in this top of set selection you can visualize that top of set selection as you go to paraphone and use paraphone okay do not use the the auction built in okay when you use paraphone you get access now to these options here that you can include sets and sounds so see that here you can now plot what what was you were what, what you extracted using top of set so this was the cell sound and this is the cell sound Okay, so now you can apply here. For instance, you can compute the volume integral here and to get the volume of that group of cells, okay? So, as easy as that. So, this is the function object tree. Look at that, the definition and how you can sample here using this surface. Look at that, you create a surface, okay? That not necessarily is a line 
with the faces. So see that is in the middle there. You put this surface there and then you do your sampling operation and this will sample the the the, <coughs> the mass flow across this. So this is a little bit particular operation when you have surfaces. Okay, it's not that in the previous when you have patches that you use the summation of phi. Here you do it like this. Okay, so be careful with that. Then you have mass flow in another surface. Okay, so this is just to mention when you have a, a face set, okay, a face set that exists in the, in, in the mesh or a patch, you use this method, okay, summation of phi. But when this surface is not, does not correspond to the face set that exists in your mesh, you need to use this method. They are equivalent. Uh, it's the one you can do the comparison on doing the, 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 the operations. Then you have this one, okay, another method, another operation. This is the one that says that this is a funky looking uh, surface. And again, you can do the operations there. Okay, so these are more more advanced, complex, uh, complex functional objects. And this is the one that now you are applying in a cell zone. So using top of set, you compute this cell zone. Okay, this is the name that you gave to that one, and then just compute the volume integral of, let's say, of this field of velocity, and you're going to get the volume integral there. So here you have some exercise. Just invited, you are invited just to try to, to solve this exercise. You have questions in during the Q and A session. We can address that, and there is more here. Okay, so there is more in sampling on points. It's pretty much the same. Okay, so these are the same as the what we did previously with some more advanced options. Then we have also a little bit more comments in, on the fly sampling on the, those. The, these are the typical function objects. It's still in the same case now. And just to show you more advanced options, so you can run the case. And what is interesting in this case, look at that, we put here many function objects, just to show you that there is no limitation. You can go as crazy as you like and see that you have all these function objects. Pay attention to this one here, pressure drop. Okay, so to compute pressure drop, so there are many functions of objects, just to remind you, you know, the general structure. And then the location, and this is your dictionary, okay? And you're going to have all the functions of objects there defined. So this is the old way, by the way, this is how it was in OpenFinet. And then you have average, inlet mass flow, outlet mass flow, profile line, the pressure drought, look at this particular function object, this field value delta and so on, okay? Then you can run it at posteriori or on the fly, okay? And just to end, you have some, some shell scripting because you're going to get all those files. So here you have a basic structure, just how to use shell scripting. Okay, it's not the actual best way, just to show you one way, probably you are better using, I don't know, Excel or MATLAB Python, but just to show you a few ways to, to do things, okay, to, to deal with the, those files. Okay, then you can do the plotting with new plot, and that's all, okay? So you have this case, pretty much the same as the previous one, with, but with more advanced options. Just to show you that I already run this case, and remember that this, you are going to find an advanced post-processing pipe. Okay, so it's the standard case. Post-processing, you are going to save all those function, function. So see that yeah, in this case, we have many of them. And as you go into system, you have your control dictionary there, and you have all the definitions there. Okay, these are all our definitions of all function objects. And then also we have here a posteriori function object, all of this. So you can open and see what happens. In particular, function object three is the one that we're computing using the, let's see, three or four, okay, let's see, this one, sales on with top of set, okay? We use top of set that you have the, this dictionary here to create that sales on, and you're accessing that one to compute that integral there, but many more functions objects that you, yeah, there. So just feel free to solve this one and you will see many things going on there. So I hope I cover the most complex things in, in, in this case. Then after doing that, you have your simulation. There is, you have the, the typical scripts now, and then you have one script called run sampling. Let me, and this one will do all the sampling. Now it will sample information using post-process, whatever. And then also will do some plotting and look at the plotting using Nuplot, okay? So as you open this screen, so you're going to see the files and how to do this, okay? So these are the surfaces and everything. 
So feel free to open those scripts. So you will have it here. And those plots that you saw at the end is here. So you're going to have new plot script and it's this one. And you have all the steps here. Okay, just to get familiar with new plot. So see that what it's doing. Okay, let me erase or oh, close uh, this case is here. So we run this solver, so you can do run mesh and run the solver, okay? And the solver is a piece of fun. And then the sampling see that while running, remember run solver is going to run all these online function objects that you have here, okay? So you, we only have here the classical minimum and maximum values, okay? My signature, the field average. And then you include this one here, okay? An external one, just to show you. So you are running this one, okay? Mass flow, inlet, outlet, probes online, and other field average. You have a pressure drop there, okay? Sets online. So see that these are sets online, okay? This is a sampling in a line, okay? So previously, I just showed you how to do the sampling in, in probes. Here you have it, how to do it in a line, which is pretty much as the same as using post-process utility and some forces. Then here you have running a posteriori. So see that you do the sum, you see you use sample did one. Remember that the sample did here, you put it always in system and you are going to do to have the sampling here. Okay. So in this case, more sampling on lines and this is sampling on surfaces and planes just to show you that you can sample it also in surfaces. Then you can read in the sampling. Okay, so this is for some probing. So this is the one that we were doing previously, but now I introduced the sampling on, on surfaces. So a standard one, and then a posteriori function object. Okay, so let's say that you forgot to put it, or if you want to run it later, this is the way to do it, okay? You put it there, and then you can open each of the files and you will see what is happening there. So as you see, this is a quite complex case, okay? A simple one, but we put a lot of stuff there. So feel free just to go through there. But I think I hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you won't get lost. It's very straightforward, okay? So you have everything here, okay? That is structure, nothing changed, and you can run in parallel with no, with no problem, okay? Nothing changed here. So that's all for this case. Thank you for your time and your attention, and see you in next videos. Bye.